Well, I got this email a few weeks ago and I started laughing because I've been saying this for months. I've made several videos on it, but it should be a surprise to most people that the Department of Justice has been asked to investigate Amazon for potentially misleading Congress regarding its competitive practices. As we said in those past videos, it's very devious of Amazon to pretend to be the good guy supporting small businesses when this is happening. Most people are familiar with Amazon's horrendous working conditions, how they blast through entire cities of employees, but everyone still uses them. Amazon executives are being accused of criminal obstruction of Congress. The accusations follow a 16-month probe by investigators into the potential for online competition with industry giants like Amazon, Google, and Facebook. Amazon faces a slew of offenses, including copying products for sale with private labels, manipulating search results, and data collection malpractice. Just like Con Edison from last week, we know Amazon is a huge monopoly. Same with Google, same with Facebook. I've personally been a victim of plagiarism of both my ideas and products. You know, my businesses, social media being shadow banned and censored, and people pop out of the woodwork coincidentally months after I come up with something selling their version of my product, usually lower quality with misleading marketing. I mean, you guys know Belcampo went out of business for selling green fed meat when they were marketing it as organic grass fed. And they're billion dollar companies, you know, they don't get to be that rich by doing good businesses or being genuine. They see a small guy with a creative idea. Of course, they're going to steal it and reap as much profit as they can. They are all in on it and you will never get the true value out of your creativity, but it's impossible to bring your idea to market without that happening. Basically, there's no protection. This is much larger than products people buy, even though control of that money is a huge deal. Just like all the information you see in the news is controlled online videos, articles, advertisements, products you see on Amazon, are in that same realm of control. You are seeing what they want to sell you to maintain their control over you. An Amazon spokesperson told reporters, there's no factual basis for this, as demonstrated in the huge volume of information we've provided over several years of good faith cooperation with this investigation. And this is what they do. Lie, deny, deny, deny. It's like expecting the police to investigate themselves. Of course, you're not going to have proof of any of these devious activities. Even if you were inside at Amazon filming and recording them doing this, you would simply be censored and shadow banned to the point where no one would see your proof. And I don't understand why they're posting these articles. You know, is this one of those natural law things where they have to reveal some truth of what's happening? The average person certainly doesn't care about small businesses they just want the most convenient and cheapest product that makes them feel good. Amazon engaged in misleading conduct that appeared designed to influence, obstruct, or impede the Antitrust Subcommittee's 2019 to 2020 investigation into the market dominance of big tech, the letter says. As an example, it cited testimony by a senior Amazon official maintaining that the company doesn't use the data it collects on third-party merchants on its platform to compete with them and doesn't list its own products and customer search results before those of third parties. Those assertions have been contradicted by credible news reports, the letter says. Uh, this sounds like a bunch of people in the club arguing with each other because I've sold three cod liver oils in the past few years on Amazon when I have the highest quality and lowest priced version of that quality. It sucks, but I've had to deal with it for all of my business ideas since I started a few years ago. I'm able to keep those businesses afloat because I have some social media presence, but like, look, I can't afford to get my own place. I can't expand my business to the point it's profitable. At what point do I just throw in the towel? You know, now none of this is technically illegal. If I hire a lawyer, the lawyer is going to screw me over because they're in the club. Just jerk me around, waste my money maybe even mislead me and side with who I'm suing while they steal my money. If I try to sue the person myself, you know, the judge isn't going to say that any laws are broken. 
I can point out that I was first to market with a certain idea, had little success, then a few months later, some scumbags go viral on TikTok with the exact same idea. To have knowledge of the court proceedings, be able to file all of the complaints in the correct jurisdiction, it's a waste of time. Just so what? Some judge is going to say, you know, nothing. It, there's nothing protecting people and their control over most media is, is the real issue. So I just thought it was kind of funny that they ended up posting these articles after I've been talking about it for months and months and months. Uh, so I figured I had to mention it, but thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. You guys can go to frank com to support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.